very warm welcome. My name is Padmaja Joshi. We are still several months away from the Lok Sabha elections, but is everyone on the edge of their seat? And how? Both the governing party and those aspiring to be the governing party in 2024 are firing on all cylinders already. Every single person you meet on the street wants to know, Chal kya raha hai? <laughs> Kiski sarkar banegi? From union ministers to MPs to party leaders, all in the BJP ranks have made it a mission to broadcast the Modi government's achievements of the last nine years and seek some park se samarthan. On the other hand, the opposition is on mission unification. Their clarion call is Modi hatao, coalition bitao. Even as there is no clarity on the contours of this anti-BJP bloc, one thing is crystal clear that the 2024 Mahabharat will be Modi versus all. Amidst the buzz of an early general election, we get you a survey on what will be the outcome if India was to vote right now. Before we get you the findings of the Times Now ETG survey, let's tell you what the poll methodology is. The survey was conducted among 1,35,000 respondents. The sample size of each Lok Sabha constituency was 250 and the survey has been conducted between April 22 and the 15th because all that anyone cares about right now are the numbers. And what are the numbers telling you? We'll go state by state, give you the numbers, the seat share and the vote share, and give you a comparison of how they have fared. The parties have fared as compared to the last two Lok Sabha elections. So let's get you started with Rajasthan. The first state we're talking about is Rajasthan, which gives 25 MPs to the Lok Sabha. In Rajasthan, the BJP this time around, according to our survey, will get 20 to 22 seats, the Congress will get about 3 to 5 and the others will barely be able to open their account. As far as vote share is concerned, the BJP quite comfortably perched at about 51% of the vote share. The Congress gets 38.7% of the vote share and the others have 10.2%. Now, how does this compare to the last two elections? It is almost the same. The BJP has been quite comfortable in this state. However, they may lose about 2 to 3 three seats, which will directly be a gain for the Congress party. Moving on now from Rajasthan, let's go to Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh, this year is going to be the assembly election. Next year is the Lok Sabha election, sends a substantial chunk of 29 seats, of which BJP projected to get about 20 to 24. Congress, 5 to 7 seats, others nothing much. The vote share again, 53% going to the BJP, 38.8% to the Congress and 7.8% to the others. Two big states done. Now let's talk about Chhattisgarh, another poll-bound state as far as the assembly is concerned, followed by the Lok Sabha. Chhattisgarh has about 11 seats, of which the BJP is getting 6 to 8, Congress is at 3 to 5. This is a classic example of how the state government is of one party, but still a majority of the people end up voting for the BJP at the center. Vote share almost evenly divided between the Congress and the BJP at about 44% each. 47% for the NDA and 44.7% for the Indian National Congress. Now let's talk about Bihar. <laughs> of great interest to people for obvious reasons. It is the place. Now remember what Tejasvi Yadav said? That just like the Rath Yatra was stopped, LK Advani's Rath Yatra was stopped by Lalu Prasad in Bihar when he was the chief minister. We are going to stop the BJP's Rath and it will start from Bihar. He said that of the 40 seats that the state gives to the Lok Sabha, we'll win all 40. The survey doesn't quite agree. 20 to 24 is with the NDA and the Mahagad Bandhan will have about 16 to 18 seats. Let's get initial responses, initial thoughts of our analysts to begin with. Ashutosh, what do you make of this? Each of the states, BJP is ahead of the Congress. No real sweep by the opposition parties. Thought so far? Uh, are two things. First of all, there is still a clear distinction between the, uh, the assembly poll and the parliamentary polls. Because uh, as it was seen in, in 2018 and 19 in, in Rajasthan and other, other states, a similar trend is again, again being uh, shown here. So that means the, the people are, are uh, making a difference between the assembly election and the parliament election. But uh, one thing which is very important is that the percentage of vote the BJP had uh, 
in Rajasthan, uh, there is a slight decline for the for the BJP in that sense because BJP in 2019 has got 58.5 percent vote share, hmm. and here it seems there is a decline of at least four to five percent vote. Uh, though uh, uh, it, uh, that also reflects in terms of the seats for the for the Congress Party because Congress Party ended up uh, gaining none. Hmm. So if we, if Congress is gaining four to five seats in Chhattisgarh again, uh, BJP got 50 uh, 50. Uh, uh, 50.7 percent percent vote share and the congress got 33 percent vote share uh, and that becomes very interesting here so that trend is continuing but there, it shows there is a declining vote share for the bjp in uh, your survey harshwardhan ji maybe not a incremental gain but the bjp is losing a little steam opposition is chipping away at the edges नहीं पदमजा मुझे लगता है कि अभी की जो स्थितियां हैं उसमें ये सर्वे ठीक कह रहा है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी की अगुवाई वाले एनडीए के पक्ष में कुछ थोड़ी कम सीटें दिख रही हैं लेकिन बहुत हमने पिछले चुनावों में देखा विशेष करके नरेंद्र मोदी जिस चुनाव को लीड करते हैं चाहे वो गुजरात में चुनाव लीड करते रहे हो मुख्यमंत्री के तौर पर या देश में दो और दो के चुनाव बहुत स्पष्ट बताते हैं कि नरेंद्र मोदी के चुनावी अभियान में उतरने के साथ मोमेंटम गेन होता है और दूसरा जिस विपक्षी एकता को लेकर बहुत कुछ कहा जा रहा है उसमें यूपीए प्लस जैसा बहुत कुछ नहीं है यूपीए के अलावा अगर एक आध पार्टियां जुड़ जाए तो जुड़ जाए दूसरी पार्टियां जो है वो भी चुनावी मोड में उसी तरह से लड़ेंगी जिसकी शायद कल्पना दो में नहीं की जा सकती थी मुझे लगता है ये बहुत बड़ा डिफ्रेंशिएटर है और उसका जो लाभ होगा वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी को होते हुए दिखेगा इसके बावजूद जितना जिसको कहे कि जितना माइनस हुआ है वो इतना नहीं है कि विपक्ष को बहुत कोई खुशी दे दे और जनता उनके साथ भारतीय जनता पार्टी और नरेंद्र मोदी के साथ खड़ी दिख रही होल्ड योर हॉर्सेस अभी हमने सिर्फ तीन चार स्टेट ही किया क्या पता बाकी स्टेट में द कांग्रेस और द महागठबंधन डिसाइड टू स्वीप बट जस्ट थॉट कमर समान चौधरी वी वर टोल्ड दैट द रथ ऑफ द बीजेपी विल बी स्टॉप इन बिहार पर अभी तो रथ चल रहा है 20 से 24 सीटें आ रही हैं बीजेपी की एनडीए की 20 से 24 एनडीए की 20 टू 24 फॉर द एनडीए व्हिच मींस दैट स्मॉलर पार्टीज आर आल्सो देयर पॉसिबली मुकेश सानी वुड बी देयर यू विल हैव जितन राम मांझी एक्सेट्रा बट एनडीए एज अ होल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी जजमेंटल टू नाइट ऑन द ईटीजी सर्वे बट बेसिकली एज यू शोड एट द स्टार्ट the survey was committed between april and i believe may 15 hmm. there were two very significant ha events happened during this period post the uh, what you call this the survey was big done your sample size is quite big one first number was the first time after 2014 the so called narendra modi wave was hmm. seen to be challenged in karnataka hmm. so that is a very big uh, factor that the opposition parties are united today and it is of course imperative on the opposition parties to be united hmm. to dislodge the bjp from power hmm. it's not the first time that the opposition parties have united to get rid of the uh, power of the of the party in power at the center it happened with the congress rule uh, when uh, prior to bajpai this ji, survey was done the after the karnataka together. results this survey was done after the karnataka uh, results yeah i i believe the date was may 15th so the karnataka result came i think so something around 10 11 or 12 something like that it came so no, no, sir, 15 june 15 there. june okay fine then second event that i was talking about was the the entire crux of the matter that now lies is whether the opposition will be able to up cobble up a one in one contest hmm. and majority of the seats there is a consensus going on among the opposition parties hmm. what we feel is that we might not be able to cobble up a united opposition against the bjp in 543 seats hmm. but at least 400 seats it's on the cards and that is, is worrying some sum yeah and second point most dangerous thing to be very very honest about it you see padmaja even if we cobble up a united opposition against the bjp hmm. there is a chance that there might be a counter polarization in favor of the bjp hmm. because we have seen that in the united uh, uh, uttar pradesh hmm. where bsp congress and the uh, samajwadi fought together and we saw the result it has to be issue based on particular issues that needs to be uh, what you call this the bjp needs to be okay so mr chaudhary you have decided to give us a piece of breaking news if you are saying that you have close to thinking of a united opposition candidate on 400 seats that's a huge thing although so far it doesn't even seem there's unanimity on which is going to be the venue of the next meeting let's, let's move let on now come. 
All right, we will take your word for it. Let's move on to Jharkhand. 14 seats in Jharkhand, and out of that, 10 to 12 seats projected in favor of the BJP. UPA will only be able to get two to four seats. Vote share: 53% with the BJP, 38.4% with the UPA. Now, West Bengal. Lot of people will be wondering: Is this going to be Khela Hobe in West Bengal? Come the Lok Sabha election. It seems the Khela. is a little bit on the tmc tosi for rahman look at the numbers 20 to 22 with the tmc 18 to 20 with the bjp cpm still there at one or two and congress also at one or two right now by the way they are at zero why because the one by poll win that they had has also gone no sorry that was for the assembly but here you have one to two with the congress and cpm likewise tosi for rahman surprised shocked satisfied sad नो एब्सोल्युटली नॉट एट ऑल एंड इधर जो हिंदी में एक फेज है अब अब पछता कर क्या फायदा जब चोड़िया चुग गए खेत सो नाउ द पीपल ऑफ बंगाल दे आर टोटली अगेंस्ट बीजेपी एंड गुड यू सेड दैट व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल परसेंटेज वोट एंड हाउ मेनी सीट्स बीजेपी वन एंड टीएमसी वन बट विथ नो एफेंस पदमजा आई डोंट नो वेदर दिस सर्वे इट्स अ सर्वे इट्स अ कॉन्स्पिरेसी अगेंस्ट द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया टू मिस गाइड देम दैट अगर अभी वोट हुआ तो हु विल गेट सो मेनी सीट्स एंड हु विल नॉट गेट द प्रॉब्लम इज द पीपल वॉन्ट टू नो दिस इज नॉट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दिस इज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर द पीपल वॉन्ट टू नो वेरी स्ट्रेट लाइक वॉट इज द फाइव ईयर्स वर्क चार्ट वॉट इज द वर्क प्लान इन स्टेड ऑफ जस्ट फेक ओपनिंग ऑफ एयरपोर्ट एंड स्टेशन एंड गिविंग अ जी डी पी ग्रोथ इकोनॉमी रूपी वर्सेज dollar this is not going to work out it I'm very sorry, first it's a say, unique political did you just unity say opening of Congress, airports CPM, and PMC, starting of trains uh, and gdp everyone will come together is not going to work you are saying these things are incidental give me your report card all, but don't all, talk about airports it's, 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 it's a fake narrative fake never worked narrative. out never worked out so you're saying there isn't an airport no, right now in arunachal pradesh out. it's a fake narrative it's a fake narrative never worked out now the people want to know so the merit expressway actually doesn't just, exist just, the just bjp only claims one. just don't target one okay. we can we can tell you we can tell you many things we can tell you we can tell you many things which is a fake narratives ki abhi ye opening hone wali hai wo opening wali hai the, the people wants to know what is your accurate master plan for 5 years instead of ucc communal violence beef okay. church mandir masjid ayodhya people wants to know what are you going to do Tosipur for us tosipur rahman numbers numbers do by the way let me let me let, let, let me let me say categorically to bring your work chart okay let me say categorically first we of want all, to know about the work that, chart that, what happened in 2019 that sir, that sir, people this, not bothered night this now this survey is not a conspiracy against the country it's a very innocent harmless little survey you called it it's a, a conspiracy, conspiracy against the people. country it is not i assure you it's Look a conspiracy the, to misguide people a conspiracy i have i really sir Against over the country on a weekend on a weekend i really you have better things to do than you, to conspire the survey is misguiding the people okay but take a look at the numbers the tmc no, maybe it's not which, from times times now maybe uh, it's a private survey <laughs> no, even they have no interest in conspiring sir but 22 seats in 2019 and you are pretty much at the same position maybe. if somebody is seen gaining possibly it's the bjp you did a khela on them in the assembly election but lok sabha we people... are not giving we are not giving more than 3 seats okay not giving more than 3 seats ajay look ajay look to bjp thoughts. in west bengal not more Breaking than 3 news. seats not Only more than 3 seats. seats in west not bengal. giving more than 3 seats That's survey it. shows 22 yeah. tmc says 3 pandya pandya i'm really surprised that uh, you due to their utter frustration they are not even able to see the blue lines what you are showing them that in rajasthan they are getting 2 to 4 seats in madhya pradesh they are getting 4 to 6 seats in chatisgarh they are getting 7 to 8 seats in bihar you are giving them somewhere around 16 to 18 seats in bengal you are giving them 22 seats these are the blue lines sir though it's a survey which all due respect i also don't agree because when election will be announced and will come out openly and the prime minister will lead the campaign every day the gear will change and every day the momentum will shift and bengal has seen what you have done in last 5 years how you have made bengal a mini pakistan how you are dealing with it what kind of appeasement politics you are following it and you'll get the reply in lok sabha chunaw in bengal and mark my word we won't be less than 13 in bengal that's for sure okay. and as for as bihar panch i would like to tell you since i belong to bihar hmm. and i know i know very nicely how this gathbandhan works first of all there is no surety of alliance 
how it will shape up, we'll see it in February or March. But even if if I agree to your survey, the BJP is far ahead because mm. BJP last time in 2019, it won only 17 seats. Mm. Today, if you're giving us somewhere between 18 to 22, along with the allies, that means BJP is clearly forging more than 17. Now, where is this Mahagathbandhan then? Every place where you have done the survey, we are crossing 50% marks, 50% vote marks. Now, 50% vote marks with this thug, with this uh, Parivarvad together, Parivarvad and Corruption Gathbandhan together, and don't forget, there is another faction also, which is being led by BSP, TRS, YRS, mm. who are mm. not part of any alliance. BJD, this will form the third pocket. Oh, okay. So all these third pocket is ultimately going to come in our favor. Secondly, Jaisha, people need Jaisha the stability. Will get this time. People need Narendra Modi at the helm of the I, face. I not these question, will people with corruption and all. So, is he going we to are get pretty the sure, we are pretty sure Jaisha? in Bengal, more than 30. We want to know the Nothing Indian less than that. wants to know. Nothing less than that, be sure. No, no, we just want to know Jesha is getting ticket this time or he will lead what? the BCCI without playing cricket. Huh. Keep on, keep on doing all this. Okay. When you all right, right. maybe, when maybe you, you could also feel Saurabh Ganguly. But anyway, no, 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 anyway, no, anyway, no, let's not, let's not get Pakistan. into this rhetorical debate, please. I think people want to know the numbers. When, talking about, when you are talking about mini Pakistan in West Bengal, hmm. you're talking about Parivarwad, you talk about Jesha as well. All is right. he a stepson of Amit Shah? No. All right. That your your beta, minister no. said that this is Pakistan. Okay, your minister right. said it okay, on this camera. Is, this is the your minister has said it on is camera. I'm not saying. Not? Let's stick to the numbers, gentlemen. Moving this on. Is what, this, this is, is mini Pakistan of Bengal. This is your what minister has said it. You. Okay, we are coming five years. Okay, gentlemen. Moving on to come. Delhi. Moving on to Delhi. Seven seats. The BJP had a clean sweep last time around, despite an Aadmi Party government being here. This time also, that is the projected result. The vote share. 47% for the BJP and 15% for the arm uh, for uh, pardon me for the Congress 15% and the Aam Aadmi Party a very healthy 32% not really converting into seats per se. Haryana, 10 seats. Did the Kisan Andolan and the wrestlers protest have any blowback for the BJP? Doesn't seem like it. Six to eight seats for them. Congress, despite a very solid push by the Huda family, still managing only one to three. Uh, Lokdal, nothing. Others, nothing. Vote share also, 47% with the BJP. Andhra Pradesh, YSRCP, very, very comfortable. It's almost as if there isn't any opposition in front of Jagan Reddy. 25 seats sent by Andhra Pradesh into the Lok Sabha and Jagan Reddy sitting very pretty at almost a clean sweep in Andhra Pradesh. 51% is his vote share. TDP gets about 36% like the Aam Aadmi Party in Delhi, but it doesn't convert into any seats for them. You do not have any of the other parties also making much of a dent here. The Jan Kalyan Party, etc. Not really, Jan Seva Party, not really making much of a dent. Now, Karnataka. Since we keep talking about how the nemesis for the BJP are the southern states. Andhra Pradesh, not much of an opening for them. What about Karnataka, where they lost the assembly election? Will that have a trickle-down effect in the Lok Sabha results as well? And it certainly seems like it. Of the 28 seats here, BJP this time projected to get only 15 to 17. Congress is increasing its tally. It's coming to 10 to 12. JDS, again, last time had one, gets one to two seats. This is the result of Karnataka. Ashutosh ji, here you have the BJP actually experiencing a significant lessening of their seats. Why do you think? Why do you think what couldn't happen in Himachal Pradesh? Himachal Pradesh, Congress won, but Lok Sabha, the BJP is still ahead. Rajasthan, the Congress is in government, yet the BJP has more Lok Sabha seats. But in Karnataka, the BJP is actually losing a sizable chunk. Why? Ashtoshi, I think you've muted yourself. Please unmute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Padmija, you, the, 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 the statistics which I've shown, uh, if that trend continues, then this will lead where the BJP will not get the majority numbers. Because in Karnataka, last time BJP got 26 out of 28. This time your projection is 10 to 12. Hmm. And then 
BJP, the, then the BJP is losing in every other state where last time they had sent person results, like Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, hmm. uh, ma, ma, uh, Gujarat, uh, Gujarat, all these places. So if they are losing three, four seats in every state, that means BJP is approximately uh, losing uh, roughly 40 seats in entire country and not gaining anywhere. They are not gaining a, any, any seat in Andhra Pradesh. They are not gaining any seat in Karnataka. They are not gaining any seat in Telangana. They are not getting uh, in, in, in Tamil Nadu, in Kerala. So that it, it, this this survey will create a lot of headache for the BJP and that and it's quite evident because the way the BJP leadership is moving, the, the, the way BJP leadership is going to have conclaves in three, uh, in, three, three uh, in Guwahati, uh, Delhi and Hyderabad that show there is a serious concern with the BJP itself. Hmm. And their spokesperson can come on the TV and claim anything. Last time they were talking about Bengal, 200, more than 200 seats. How many they got in assembly said everybody knows. Hmm. They were talking about getting more than 100, 150 seats in Karnataka. How, how many they got, everybody knows. So pomposity is good for, for the politics. The rhetoric is good for the politics. But in terms of real numbers, BJP on its own is not going to get majority numbers if your statistics and your survey conveys any message to me. Harshwagan ji. कहते हैं बूंद बूंद से सागर भरता है यहां पर कह रहे हैं आशुतोष जी की बूंद बूंद से बीजेपी का सागर कम हो रहा है पांच सीटें इधर दो सीटें इधर पंद्रह सीटें उधर दस सीटें उधर एंड बिफोर यू नो इट यू आर एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी पद्मजा आशुतोष जी बहुत सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट हैं बहुत से चुनाव इन्होंने देखे हुए हैं लेकिन एक ट्रेंड है जिसकी चर्चा मैं करूंगा और मुझे लगता है कि आशुतोष जी भी इससे पूरी तरह से सहमत होंगे भारतीय राजनीति में राज्य से लेकर केंद्र तक जनता अब इसलिए नेता से नहीं नाराज हो जाती कि वो मुख्यमंत्री बन गया दो बार बन गया प्रधानमंत्री बन गया इससे नाराज नहीं होती वो परफॉर्मेंस देखती है और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी के परफॉर्मेंस पर अभी भी कोई सवाल नहीं उठता है जो लोग बात करते हैं कि ये क्यों किया वो कहते हैं कि अच्छा ठीक है भाई सड़क बनवा दी तो क्या हवाई जहाज चलने लगे तो क्या रेलवे अच्छी चलने लगी तो क्या वो तो ये भी भूल जाते हैं कि 1300 से ज्यादा नई ट्रेनें चल गई वो भूल जाते हैं वो कहते हैं कि अरे इसका क्या मतलब है वो कहते हैं फेरे बढ़ गए तो क्या मतलब है ये सारी चीजें जनता ही तो उसका उपयोग कर रही है ना जो तो, भी ट्रेनें एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जा रही है वो वही करती है तो फिर कर्नाटका में सीटें कम क्यों हो रही है हर्षवर्धन जी अगर प्रधानमंत्री से सब खुश है तो फिर 26 से 17 पे क्यों आ गई सीटें बीजेपी मैं उसी उसी तरफ आ रहा हूं कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लिए बहुत बड़ा कंसर्न है दक्षिण भारत उसमें कर्नाटक से उसे आगे बढ़ना था लेकिन कर्नाटक अकेला एक राज्य है जो मुझे बड़ी चिंता भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लिए दिखाता है और यहां भी आप देखिए तो चूंकि जनता ने अभी अभी कांग्रेस पार्टी को वहां समर्थन दिया तो उनका कोई एंटी इनकमेंसी अभी इतने समय में नहीं होगा लेकिन कमाल की बात आप देखिए कि दूसरे जो राज्य है वहां पर कांग्रेस पार्टी को कुछ भी मिलता हुआ नहीं दिख रहा है बंगाल में बंटवारा हो जाता है टीएमसी और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के बीच में इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि जिन क्षेत्रीय पार्टियों ने कांग्रेस का हिस्सा लिया उनसे कांग्रेस वापस नहीं ले पा रही और मुझे लगता है कि ये बड़ी वजह है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी आसानी से 272 प्लस की ओर पहुंचती दिख रही है ओके आशुतोष जी वांट्स टू रिस्पॉन्ड बट सो डस कमर जमान चौधरी अभी कर्नाटका का नया नया प्यार है इट्स न्यू लव डोंट टेक इट एज अ मॉडल नो नो इट्स एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट यू नो सी आई थिंक ओके लेट मी आशुतोष जी यस वन एट टाइम कमर जमान चौधरी फर्स्ट देन आशुतोष जी यस ओके थैंक यू Uh, you know the issues that were governing Karnataka elections were mainly unemployment and price rise, apart from the corruption issue. Mm -hmm. So, if unemployment and price rise were a major factor in Karnataka, I believe this is going to be a major factor in the rest of the country too, mm -hmm. because the state governments and the central government have failed to create uh, a, or attract the aspirational youth of the country. Then the youth and electorate of India is a is a young society hmm. which is going out to vote. Went out his anger against the ruling dispensation. Okay. So that has been reflected in the Karnataka polls, and I believe it will be there in the rest of the states also. Okay, this time the only deciding factor is that okay. whether Modi will be a. मोदी मैजिक इज नॉट वर्किंग इन दिस स्टेट 
So Karnataka and Manipur, these are the classic examples that double-decker government rhetoric is not working. Hmm. Himachal Pradesh says it's not working. So when people are rejecting double-decker rhetoric, that means they are also rejecting partly Narendra Modi also. And mark my word, Madhya Pradesh is going to be going to prove another Waterloo for BJP like Karnataka did. But sir, Himachal Pradesh, despite the fact the Congress came into government, is still giving majority seats to BJP only. I'm talking about assembly seat and that will have a major reflection on the parliament seat. But we so, just agreed that the assembly does not reflect on parliament results. Agreed, agreed. But I have also said that there is a declining trend in the vote percentage of the BJP. Like I can, I can, I can tell you, in Chhattisgarh, BJP uh, in, in parliamentary election got 50, 50.770 percent. In Rajasthan got 58.5 percent. In Haryana got 58.02. In Maharashtra, they, and so in Delhi they got 56 percent vote share. But are is BJP retaining those vote percentages? If the if the opposition unity index improves, hmm. that means. Uh, it will further erode BJP's vote share. I am not saying it will convert directly into the in, into the winning up seats, but there is a definite declining of BJP vote vote. And if opposition unity index Im improves, then the erosion will take uh, take place further. But sir, the opposition will certainly be hoping that it increases more than their vote share because what will they do with the vote share right now? 35 percent in Delhi with the Aam Aadmi Party in Lok Sabha, but zero seats. What use is that vote share? Let's talk about Odisha now. We've seen Karnataka. Now let's talk about Odisha. 21 seats and still the BJD seems quite comfortable. They are at 12 to 14 seats here. Six to eight seats with the BJP. Congress has won. Again, very interesting that all of these states were at one point, whether it be Telangana, whether it be Andhra Pradesh, whether it be Odisha. Then a strong regional party emerged and the Congress never managed to resuscitate, especially in the Lok Sabha. It simply could not resuscitate. BJD with Naveen Patnayak still at 44%. A close second is the BJP at 40%. And the Congress remains at 9% there. That's as far as Odisha is concerned. Then Tamil Nadu out of 39 seats. DMK still quite comfortable. They've got 18 to 22 seats. Congress at 8 to 10. We've written UPA here. But I think this means uh, the Congress by itself because you've got the DMK and the Congress together in the UPA. So Congress 8 to 10, AADMK 5 to 8, and the BJP, if at all, will be able to get one seat. Now you have Telangana. Telangana, the BRS out of 17, will get 9 to 11. The BJP at 3 to 5. This is again a very important state because the BJP in the south has its hopes pinned on just a couple of states. Karnataka, Telangana, where they made major gains last time, they got four seats. This time... Again, projected at 3 to 5, not making any substantial gains. And Tamil Nadu, where they set a target of about 7 seats for themselves, if I'm not wrong. But they are barely being able to open their account. So, Tamil Nadu, we have the DMK again sitting comfortable at 32.9% of the vote share. Uh, the AIA DMK at 20%, the Congress at 14% and the BJP at 7.1%. Uh, we've got Tamil Nadu, we've got Telangana also, BRS at 9 to 11, BJP at 3 to 5. Maharashtra, now this is very important. Maharashtra has seen a realignment of forces with Eknath Shinde breaking away, getting the symbol, getting the Shiv Sena name is their alliance with the BJP going to help the two? Certainly seems like it. 20 to 28 seats is what they have this time. Eknath Shinde and the BJP together. And the Congress is at 18 to 22. Let's see the comparison graphics for Maharashtra because I think that is going to be important in the change scenario. Between 2019 and 2024, the NDA is actually making gains. So this is just the BJP or this is the NDA. This is just the BJP alone apparently. Uh, okay, okay, this is BJP plus was at 23 last time. And you have uh, them at 22, 28. That's as far as Maharashtra is concerned. Let's quickly go through the others now. Goa, both seats going to the BJP, 48% vote share. Uh, Gujarat, 26 out of 26. I think that is almost a given. Hardly any surprises there. Gujarat, all 26 seats. Last time also, it was a 100% uh, track record for the BJP there. In the northeast, a total of 11 seats. 
where the BJP is getting four to six, the Congress is getting about two to four, and the others are standing at two to four. Now, let's take a look at the overall. The overall numbers, where do they stand? Before that, let me take a quick reaction from Ajay Alok. Ajay Alok, the South still seems to be an Achilles heel. Tamil Nadu, nothing. Karnataka, seats going down. Uh, Telangana, nothing. Where is it that you plan to increase your tally? Why I ask you is, Ashutosh is right when he says, you are losing 2567, 2567 seats here and there. Where will you gain if not in the South? No, definitely. I'll, I'm telling you, we are going to gain in Bihar, we are going to gain in UP, we are going to gain in West Bengal, and also we are going to gain in South India. Remember in 2018 also when we couldn't form the government, in spite of being the largest party, we swept Karnataka last time in 2019. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure that the Lok Sabha elections turf and the Vidhan Sabha turf is two different set of things and it will work in our favor. For Telangana, definitely things won't be standing at 5 to 7, we will improve our tally there. In Tamil Nadu, with the alliance with the AIE DMK, this will definitely take a leap. There is no doubt about it. So I'm pretty hopeful that we will. So it's not going to be a, a painting eclipse or something like that. Sir, can you, but, uh, can, you can you even identify? Can you even identify? Can you even identify five seats? You are saying you are you're not going to get one or two. You're going to make a substantial dent in Tamil Nadu. Can you identify five seats where you think you are likely to win in Tamil Nadu? See, it's not a matter of identifying five seats. We are claiming on all 39 and you are asking me to identify five seats. So let's not go into that. Sir, if you claim all 39, then the IDMK... We are trying to concentrate then in the IDMK is going to be very upset with you if you claim all 39. That's, see, uh, Pandya, Pandya, you remember 2018 poll analysis also where nobody was giving us even 282, we crossed 300. Hmm. But that was 2019. So this time also the social alliance what we are forming in Tamil Nadu at the... Yeah, 2019. Obviously, that is 2019. But based on the past assumption only, your current strength is assessed and your future is improved. That's what Sir, we do. Sir, right now you're Though in a position what where social in Tamil Nadu... We are trying to form in Tamil Nadu is different. Where in Tamil Nadu, far from forming coalition. Unless you are saying you are trying no, to form be. a coalition with somebody other than AIDMK. Because literally you're, every you're, day, literally every day... Mr. Palani Sami and Mr. Anna Malai have got things to say about each other. Literally every week this happens. So are you claiming yeah, to know. win 39 with the IDMK or other some social, more social coalitions? coalitions? Uh, uh, can I, can See, I elections are nine months away. We hmm. still have a lot of time to do the permutation and combination. And let me, uh, let me give a comment for Ashutosh. Okay. His utter frustration and depression, he is not sounding like a political analyst. <laughs> He's crying you... horse. Why oh, are you God. crying horse, my dear friend? Why are you getting agitated? <laughs> this is just a survey, nine months before survey. Many more surveys will come. You'll have to cry more. So be prepared for it. Okay, let's not make this about individuals, no, no, no. sir. He, it's, 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 you know, it's the weekend. Everyone, everyone is relaxed right now. Ashutosh, you respond. Uh, no, I, can, I can understand Ajay Alu. He's, he's a good friend, so he, he's, he's, he, he can say anything. In Tamil Nadu, the governor Ravi is doing a lot of service for the BJP. Don't worry about that. Forget about the Annamalai. Hmm. Ravi will get all 39 seats in Tamil Nadu for the BJP. Manke. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Harshwad Danji, do you want to quickly comment on this? The problem <laughs> of the South. Hey, look. मुझे लगता है कि कई बार हम लोग पत्रकार के तौर पर जो टिप्पणी करते हैं आरएन रवि ने जो कुछ किया है और मैं इसकी अच्छा हुआ इसमें इसके बीच में चर्चा आ गई क्या एक भ्रष्टाचारी मंत्री को मुख्यमंत्री बचाए रखे अरविंद केजरीवाल बचाए रखें स्टालिन बचाए रखें और हम लोग इसी को कहेंगे कि बड़ा अच्छा मॉडल है पॉलिटिकल छोड़ दीजिए पॉलिटिकल नैरेटिव की भी चर्चा छोड़ दीजिए हम पत्रकारों के मुंह से अच्छा लगता है क्या ये हम कहें कि नहीं नहीं गवर्नर ये भला आदमी नहीं है गवर्नर ने चिट्ठी लिखी और स्टालिन ने उस भ्रष्टाचारी मंत्री को नहीं हटाया मुझे लगता है चर्चा तो इस पे होनी चाहिए तो आया है और कितनी सीटें मिलेंगी ये तो हम बात कर लेंगे हर्षवर्धन जी आपने आपने गवर्नर का जिक्र छेड़ दिया को मत पकड़िए दिस तो इज दी अंडर एवरी बॉनेट
गवर्नर पे तो वेस्ट बंगाल विल ऑल्सो जम्प इन तेलंगाना विल ऑल्सो जम्प इन सर आपने आपने अभी भूषण शरण सिंह पे कोई चर्चा नहीं होगी नहीं नहीं, I don't want to go on the governor's issue. I don't want to go on the governor's issue. It's a very sensitive issue because I don't want to go there. नहीं चर्चा होगी। But Harshvardhan ji, you are talking about चर्चा होगी। नहीं नहीं Harshvardhan ji, आप एक भ्रष्टाचार मंत्री को नहीं नहीं अरे मैं नहीं करना चाहता हूँ ना। अभी पता चला ED हमारे पर केस कर देगा। अभी अभी कोई अभी कोई central agency हमारे पर केस कर देगा। कि आप governor को क्यों target कर रहे हैं? The problem is that governor has to be neutral, Harshvardhan ji. Governor cannot stand with one political party. They cannot, they cannot come. Stand with one one political party. They They have to to be neutral. They should see with with two two eyes, eyes. not with one eyes. The role of a governor is to watch with two eyes. But the problem यही है ना कि जब भी बीजेपी कोई गवर्नर भेजता है वो एक आंख से देखता है तो इस बात की तकलीफ नहीं होनी चाहिए फिर भी इस नेरेटिव को हम इग्नोर करते हैं हर्षवर्धन जी okay. इसमें हमें डिस्कस नहीं करना है आपने हमसे अभी दो मिनट पहले क्या कहा बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इज मेकिंग रोड बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इज मेकिंग ट्रेन लॉन्चिंग एयरपोर्ट लॉन्चिंग ट्रेन Sir, listen to me. Just give me twenty minutes, twenty seconds. Okay, Mother, twenty please. seconds. Yes. Please, it is very important. You are talking about developments. कि 2014 से पहले हर्षवर्धन जी आपने कहा 2014 से पहले मतलब कुछ था ही नहीं हम तो सड़क पे चलते ही नहीं थे हम तो कच्चे रास्ते में चलते थे अभी बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट ने आके हमें लेन समझाया बाइलेन समझाया ट्रेन में चढ़ाया नहीं नहीं कहा ही नहीं कि 2014 नहीं नहीं मैं आप आप समझिए the thing is that बोलना बोलिए भाई अरे मित्र आप झूठ बोलेंगे टीवी पर सुनिए बात तो सुनिए एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड मैं आपके ऊपर पर अटैक नहीं कर रहा हूं ये कहा नहीं मैंने झूठ के हवाले से झूठ बोलेंगे तो मुझे बोलना पड़ेगा मैं आपको मैं आपको एक थोड़ा सा इंफॉर्मेशन देना चाहता हूं ओके एक सेकंड एक्सटर्नल डेप्थ ऑफ इंडिया सर 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 बिफोर यू मिसगाइड एनीवन द एक्सटर्नल डेथ ऑफ इंडिया रोज टू 1.2 परसेंट क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर टू 6.13 बिलियन एज ऑफ एंड ऑफ दिसंबर द गवर्नमेंट स्टेट ऑन फ्राइडे अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेटा कंट्री एक्सटर्नल डेप टू जीडीपी रेशियो स्टेट एट द सेम लेवल सर हमारा डेथ कहां है हमारे ऊपर कितनी उधार बाकी है okay. हमारी जो उधार बाकी है ना वो कंट्री के जीडीपी के बराबर आ गई है इसको समझा दीजिए लेम लैंग्वेज में Okay. I am not asking times now to explain me, but I am asking you, Harsh Vardhan and Alok ji. Okay. 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 हेल्दी डेट जीडीपी रेशियो किसी कंट्री के लिए क्या होता है और भारत का डेट जीडीपी सौ तेरह बिलियन का बस मेरी बात खत्म ओके ओके जेंटलमैन जेंटलमैन सेपरेट डे फॉर दिस डिबेट नाउ दी ओवरऑल सर्वे वोट शेयर सर जवाब अगले डिबेट में जो कि सिर्फ इस पे होगा इट्स टू बिग एन इश्यू टू डील ओनली विद इन द नेक्स्ट टू मिनट्स ओवरऑल वोट शेयर इफ द लोकसभा इलेक्शन वर टू बी हेल्ड टूडे who would get how many seats let's take a look at the big numbers here are the big numbers in terms of vote share 38.08% with the bjp which is actually an increase if i am not mistaken over the last vote share but we'll just have that check the congress is at 28.82% and the others are at 33% but what are the seat numbers like if the lok sabha elections were to be held as of today here are the total number of seats that would be with the bjp 285 to 325 the congress plus that is the upa at 111 249 tmc at 20 to 22 vysrcp 24 to 25 bjd 12 to 14 BRS nine to eleven, Aam Aadmi Party four to seven, largely coming from Punjab, and the Samajwadi Party still at four to eight. Others will get a maximum of thirty-eight. Kamar Zaman Chaudhary, two eighty-five yeah. to three twenty-five for the NDA. Well, a very very silver lining and a very positive for us. At least our vote share is increasing by a whopping nine percent per nation wide. Hmm. So that's an encouraging sign. After the Bharat Jyoti Yatra, we expected that, and slowly India is pushing back. India is pushing back the Bharatiya Janata Party ecosystem, and I hope these numbers are going to change after the state election scheduled to be held in December, uh, January. That is the Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, 
uh, and uh, Mizoram, these elections, after that, a sizable opinion will be shifted hmm. towards the non-BJP parties and that's for Shia Padmaja. All right. Already you see Ajay Alok, the vote share has increased. The seat share has also increased for the Congress. For the UPA, the seat share has increased and it will get bigger and bigger. Increase the what? Well, well, Pandya, I'll just say about the Congress that 28% vote share Congress got even in 2009 to 2004. And if you analyze them in 90s also, they were always between 25 to 28%. So this 19 to 28, the gain is because no, of Musliman Jodo Yatra. This could be possible get that because they are snatching please. Muslim voters from the from the regional parties. That's very that's very much evident from Karnataka also. That uh, what happened to JDS. Hmm. So I'm not concerned about that. What my concern is that don't Sir, you your should be concerned about that. If they increase. manage to snatch but the again, Muslim voters from other parties, they no, form no, no, the I'm, government I'm, in Karnataka. It no, is no, a big Pampaja, concern. You're getting it wrong. This is not the question of snatching exactly. the it, Muslim voters. Exactly. No, no, no I'm telling you. I'm, I'm see, see uh, it was not our concern that the Muslim vote get divided. It was not our concern. It was Congress concerns to get Muslim vote intact. We Which they are doing it fine. Them. Let them do their they job. Let them us. do their we job. Want the whole yeah, why are you interfering in between? That day we will be winning the elections when. Pat why are you interfering? Let me complete. Congress. Why are you getting so restless? Okay, sir, let you win complete. the election, let but at least let him speak. Let Ajay Alok but finish, then I'll come to you, Mr. Chaudhary. Yes, finish. You have done your job very nicely of consolidating Muslim towards yourself by Muslim Jodo Yatra. Congratulations to you. We are not bothered about that. What I'm concerned, my concern is different. It's not my concern that how you consolidate Muslim votes. It's the concern for other parties like a Saudi OVC, Mamta, and a Samajwadi party, or for that matter, anyone you ally or you fight against with, hmm. like BRS and all. So that's not my concern. What my I'm telling you, Padmja, that 1.2% vote share rise is a concern for us because our target is to nearly closing by 50%. Hmm. So we are going to work on that. And make my words, mark my words, and you can just record it, and we'll play it on the result day. BJP will get maximum close to 50% of vote share. Okay. Kamar Zaman Chaudhary respond now, and then Ashutosh. That's the game plan the Bhatia Janta Party's ecosystem has been playing since 2014. They will always try to play the game of the majority appeasement by denouncing the minority appeasement politics of the other parties. <laughs> but the fact remains that the Congress party is never into that game. We have never <laughs> we have never played into any sort of majority appeasement or minority appeasement. See, so for oh, what did Rahul Gandhi visit money to, taken by the to stand parties. with the people who were affected? When the Prime Minister is obviously where Manipur is, then you parties. can understand the situation that the country is going to the dogs. Now, what are the issues that these people have brought up from 2019? The triple talaq issue, the hijab, the UCC. Does that any of this issue uh, project India as a progressive country? Progressive in the sense, matlab, all religious factions. Actually, are UCC does show to... India as a progressive oh, country because then it has a uniform India. law like the rest knows. of the world. The UCC do does say, project do India as a progressive country, country laws, but that's a debate for another day. Come, come Mr. Chaudhary, that's progressive a debate for another day. Hold on, hold on a second. What do you make of this analysis, Ashutosh ji? That uh, the vote okay. share gain that the Congress is seeing is the Muslim vote. And that really is not a headache for the BJP because it will only end up denting the likes of TMC, BRS, etc. Uh, first 10 seconds on my friend Ajay Alok, because on a lighter note, in, if any 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 leader which moves from the from other political parties to BJP, his vocabulary increases, improves dramatically. Many Pakistan, Musliman, all these things come in. So I I, I, I can understand that. See the two things, I, and I, if I had been in the BJP at the top, then the, this service should have really me worried for the simple reason because uh, lower side it doesn't show how many seats BJP is getting. It's BJP plus which is getting to 85 plus and, and 325. Second thing is the 60 percent of the of the respondents were contacted on phone. That's again 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 a worrisome. So that that shows and 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 BJP is aware of it. That is why I said BJP is going for a major shakeup in the month of uh, first month first month of July. They are aware that if 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 this trend continues, then BJP will have a serious problem in 2024. And this is happening when opposition unity index is is has just started gaining traction. 
So if it, it takes a shape, it becomes a, a, a program, then obviously we BJP will find it difficult. So if I had been in, in, in BJP, these, these numbers would have really got, got me worried. All right. Quick response, Hashwadhan ji. No, Padmaja, I think that the Bharti Janta Party and Narendra Modi are one thing that is clear. They are not happy with any good results. And maybe this survey or any survey will be happy with it. But one thing that you have said that you will never be able to do it. You should be able to do it. And you should be able to do it. And you should be able to do it. You are saying that there is a Hindu appeasement. But it should be a common law for everyone. BJP will take it. Absolutely. Padmaja, permit me 10 seconds, please. Yes, Mr. Chaudhary. Listen, these people, they are bringing in the USCC not to give justice to the Muslim women. Basically, it is a ploy to pump up the, what do you call this, feelings against the minority community so that they are uh, their actions, their customs, their traditions are affected. But they forgot to forget to tell the people of this country that Hindu undivided family laws are being affected. The Sikh Great. laws are being affected. Great. Wait, 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 wait. The Naga customary laws are affected. Great. The Meghalaya matriarchal law system. Which means is that being the affected. UCC is anti-Hindu also, according to it's you. It is anti-tribal also. also. It is anti-Meghalaya also. You so, should be happy. So it is not anti-Muslim no, no, alone. Now, Padmaja, 10 more seconds, please. Now, the question here is that 2018, the Law Commission said okay. we are not at the right time to bring in the UCC. Within the four to five years, has the government consulted all the stakeholders in this UCC? Okay. No. Then all right, sir, sir, this is a far more nuanced debate and we have done it also. And I promise you we will continue to do it because this is a huge issue that affects all of the country, like you said, not just Muslims. But Ashutosh ji put a lot of emphasis on opposition unity. His basic premise was Kamar Zaman Chaudhary and Tausifur Rahman that it is only Angra. It is only the opposition unity. Ki ladai hai. And as the opposition unity will increase, 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 increase. But my fear is, Tausifur Rahman, that <laughs> Lok Sabha seat and opposition unity will increase in the future. Yes, ma'am. Abhi toh you have kept Congress people in such fear of their lives in Bengal that Mr. Kamar Zaman Chaudhary's comrades are sleeping in the party office instead of sleeping in their houses. So much pressure for opposition unity, but you are beating that unity to pulp. Ma'am, again, this is again. You're beating them. Ma'am, again, this... Uh... These statements coming from Adhiranjan Chaudhary ji and some Congress candidates, it is a totally a fake narrative again I am telling you because Kamar, Sama, Kamar Sahib is sitting with me. The thing is that whatever the role of action will be taken will take happen in Shimla and Adhiranjan Ch Chaudhary is not Congress. It's not only the Congress. <laughs> Rahul Gandhi and Kharge ji is there. So whatever the unity outcome will come, the people of Bengal will see. Feeling now, good, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary. Now if someone is complaining that we don't want to go out of the house, we don't want to go out of the house, we don't want to go out of the house. I mean, I don't understand. They are, they are working together. Tell me, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary. You are sitting in Calcutta. Bangalore is a different state, different story. Adhiranjan Chaudhary is backing BJP, ISF and Congress itself. Go on, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary. Yes. Padmaja, these are the issues that need to be sorted out. You know, TMC, Congress are fighting against each other and a very serious fight we are doing this time <laughs> in the Panchayat Pauls, the Malda, Malda areas or the Mushitabad areas or the Dinajpur or the Purulia areas. We are giving TMC a very tough fight <laughs> in alliance with the CPN. That's a part. Nationally, what will be the perspective that will be decided by the national leaders? And I hope that a compromise solution on how we go forward. Because it is imperative on all the opposition mm. political parties to cobble up a united front against the Bharatiya Janata Party to at least try and save the ethos of the constitution of the country. That's sure. our main goal. For that, we might have to sacrifice a lot. And we are ready for that sacrifice. That is great, sir, because obviously shooting people dead is exactly according to the ethos of the constitution. But on a more serious note, Ajay Alok, it should seriously worry you. We should stop that immediately. Yeah, it, sh it should actually worry you that here are people who are facing physical violence and yet they are so determined to defeat you that they are willing to risk death in a state 
and yet collaborate together at a national stage. Such is the determination of the opposition. See, this kind of determination we have seen because of their lust and because to save their family if, they, if the leaders can unite. But on the ground, the, the, the Karakartas don't unite because mm. they have fought the battle. And what is happening in Bengal, it's nothing new to Bengal. The, the, the very history of all violence mm. started with CPM. It used to hurt TMC earlier when we were together. Now the TMC has done the role of CPM and now sure. they are doing the same thing to the sure, Congress. Sure, but the, the opposition over. unity will become and stronger is well the point I'm making. The general mass of Bengal. CPM. There are independent candidate, it is called backed by CPM. Opposition unity is never going to happen. Why do you support CPM in opposition Bengal? Opposition unity is like, CPM you, you know, you, you call Vipak. Why you, doing you call Vipak. So we and Pakshi. you get nervous you make the opposition or whatsoever. You they should fly in opposite direction, let the election come. 80, Padmaja, Padmaja, please. Padmaja, let the election come, you okay. know, the whole fight All in right. Bengal. Okay, the whole is, fight in Padmaja, Bengal is again for that 30% chunk. Bengal. Okay, I'm going to Anuji. end it with that, gentlemen, with the final results on your screens right now, the survey results on your screens right now. But rightly said, even 24 hours is a long time in politics. We are talking about close to nine months. Lots could change. There could be... Life-changing events that happen, we'll be keeping track because this is something that we are going to get you, the pulse of the people, week on week, month on month. For the time being, thank you very much, all gentlemen, for joining me. Thanks very much for tuning in to The Times Now, ETG National Survey.